Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is June 11th and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the Pacific Ocean here. Check out our little low pressure system out here. It's actually got a little bit of wind with it here across from the northern Vancouver Island, western British Columbia here. We'll take a look at the wind field on this frontal system here as well in a moment. You can see some of the cloud activity moving across western Washington. If you look closely here, you can see off to the east and northeast of the Olympic Mountains, you got some compressing air as it moves over the mountains, sinks, compresses, and warms. And that's why you can see some of those clouds out there. So a little bit of sunshine out there towards Port Angeles or Squam. But yeah, kind of an interesting uh, system out there for June across the Pacific Northwest. You can see some of this colder air back here. It's just got to kind of get the stratocumulus there. The, the, again, the contrast this time of year is not that strong between the cold and the warm air. These mid-latitude cyclones just do not pack the punch that they do during the fall and the winter or sometimes the early spring months. Taking a look at the wind field with the storm you can see as I put this into motion this is about where we are right now and you can see it does have a bit of wind with it up towards the northern tip of Vancouver Island area you can see there is some blustery winds out there as well this morning but nothing too crazy except for eastern Washington and eastern Oregon there are some wind advisories here as we go through the day today and you can kind of see these blustery gusty winds rolling across the area here and you get a bit of a surge down the street of Wanda Fuca here as well I want to point that out this afternoon also and you can see some stronger northwest wind north winds down the coastal area is pretty typical this time of year now taking a look at the wind advisories you can see 9 a.m to 11 p.m today gusts up to 50 miles per hour can attest valley you can see eastern columbia river gorge high uh, interstate 90 84 82 and highway 97 are under that risk here as well so watch out especially high profile vehicles looking at wenatchee and ellensburg potentially 50 mile per hour gusts here you can see walla walla tri cities 35 lewiston 40 miles per hour spokane 40 as well some rough water on the area lakes and some elevated uh, risk for some grass fires out there as well and even some isolated power outages cannot be ruled out looking at seattle yesterday 70 degrees one degree to, uh, cooler than the day prior and actually a one hundredth of an inch officially in the rain bucket 1.11 inches so far this month and if we take a look i mean this may be the last i show of this for a while but significant wild and fire potential outlook for june you can see kind of a neutral signal there across pacific northwest but look as we get into july you can see oregon idaho and some western washington getting in on that action and we are primed across a lot of British Columbia and Alberta too for another above average fire season. You can see this is for August and this is for September here. So have your wits about you. Let's try to keep these fires to a minimum. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station, it detects lightning. It's very fun to watch this system when you do have some thunderstorm activity, which we may this coming weekend here as we get some systems rolling through here. This weekend will not be like the last coming up here. We're going to have some active weather and we're going to look at that here in some in a bit as well but yeah highly recommend this station it, it's very fun it makes the weather watching much more fun when you have one of these attached to your place of residence so taking a look at the european artificial intelligence you can see the system as it moves through now and then we get a tiny bit of a break there but this next system will be rolling in here as we go through friday and on in through this weekend you can see the trough setting up shop here across pacific northwest hangs out for a bit as we go on into the early portion of next week but in the wake of these systems you can get a few nice days in between between. So I'm rooting for that. And then we go off to the extended and check out this ridge that the European wants to build along the west coast of North America. Kind of fantasy land at this point, but it's that time of year when we can start warming up. But then look at this deep trough all the way down the west coast of North America. Purely fantasy, just something fun to look at for now. Taking a look at the system today, you can see it could bring a little bit of precipitation out there. Western Washington, better chances across British Columbia and the higher terrain and the Rocky Mountains of Alberta and at British Columbia as well and then we push on through get a little bit of a break here as we go through Thursday not expecting precipitation but when we roll into Friday here you see this next trough setting up shopping it's kind of some scattered showers going on with that activity and then a little bit better coverage there on Saturday look at this thing with the trough can be right over the top here definitely not going to be looking at some very warm temperatures this weekend and uh, then we'll be waiting to see what happens after that we'll be breaking that down day by day but if we look at the temperatures today you can see 69 for Seattle some 
mid 70s for the Lambert Valley. Warmer east of the Cascades again with those blustery and gusty winds out there. Some fire danger to be had. And then we look at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Look at Saturday, only 62 for Seattle, 65 for Portland, 62 for Vancouver, BC here as we're going to have that trough overhead and kind of keeping things suppressed on Sunday and then trying to bounce back a little bit Monday and Tuesday here. Like I mentioned, you can get some nice days in the wake of those troughs. So we'll see how that trends. Taking a look at the GFS, let's see if it compares to the European. There goes today's system. A little bit of a ridge, try, a transient ridge tries to build in there, but then we got the system rolling through this weekend. Good model agreement on this next trough rolling in here. Saturday, not looking like a great day here across Pacific Northwest, unless you like the rain. I know a lot of the mossbacks out here and the vampires across Pacific Northwest like to get these troughs on into the summer months for sure. And the GFS wants to hang this trough out all the way on in through a big portion of next week also then maybe bouncing back a ridge after that we'll see what happens after uh the you know once we get a little bit closer there you're looking off into fantasy land at that point but you can see the troughing for seattle and western washington western oregon a kind of similar signal shows up here as well and then maybe a bounce back as we go through the end of the following week here june 19th 20th time frame we'll see how that trends looking at seattle tacoma this is for today very light precipitation amounts but better as we go through the weekend upcoming or some of the ensembles showing up towards a half inch even a little bit more of the control run right at four tenths of an inch of precipitation. Looking at Spokane, not talking about a lot of precipitation here, but maybe a little bit with that weekend system. You know, the 6 to 10 day, you can see the below average signal here from much of the West Coast. This goes through June 20th and the above average signal for precipitation there. And again, just a reminder, you can see NW6, NW10. We do have the elevated fire risk here and we have some areas that are moderate risk as well. And so, yeah, heads up. It's that time of year. Fire potential starts to become uh, more evident. But yeah, anyway, nice satellite watching this morning. Had some nice under lattice out there this morning as well. It's nice cloud watching also. But yeah, a little bit of a reminder of what happens during the fall and winter months here. But these systems just don't quite have the punch that they do in the winter months. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, be prepared for that weekend here. We're going to be much cooler than we were the previous weekend. And uh, otherwise, I hope, hope you're having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.